Tim, right? My name is Tim Wukan. That's not a German name, but it comes from Slovenia. So my dad was born in Slovenia. Slovenia is also in Europe. It's a country over there. And when I was 18, I started to learn some kind of Kung Fu. Some Yong Chun. You all know this because you watch TV, so you know Ye Wen, right? So I was learning Yong Chun Quan in Germany, Wing Chun Kung Fu. We were looking for a teacher to protect ourselves, Bao Wei, because we sometimes we got into a little bit of trouble and you need to learn a little bit how to protect yourself, which is also really important for women, you know. It's, it's giving you a more healthy life, it's making you more sensitive with your body, and you learn some kind of skills, but you can also protect yourself, right? So in China you have a lot of Kung Fu, and this is what I wanted to learn. After four or five years of studying in Hamburg, this is my hometown, Hamburg, this is in the north of Germany. I went to Shaolin over there to study, together with many, many Chinese students, a lot of children. And my best teacher was actually a nine-year-old girl. She was teaching me. And she could do this and like jumping and then high kicks to here. She was so good, just nine years old. And she was teaching me and I was like, oh. I was in good performance, but we were practicing seven hours a day. Kung Fu, seven hours a day. So that was quite hard and I didn't know any Chinese. That's why I ask you, do you know English? And you say maybe, yes, you know a little bit of English, but you are not really so much interested in. So when I came to China, I didn't know any Chinese, nothing. Maybe Ni Hao. And so I was practicing first and learning Chinese Kung Fu. And uh, I decided to come back to study Chinese medicine. And I was searching online, searching online, you know, on the computer. Where can I go? So I went to Hangzhou and also to Kunming. And I learned Chinese language over here in this university for one year. And then I decided to go to Kunming. You know, it's in Yunnan, really beautiful over there and very warm. It's like this Chunji, right? Chunji Zhichen, you know, this spring city. And it's really, it's very nice, warm, and they have a lot of herbal medicine over there, for example. Also beautiful to go out and to have fun. Also for Westerners, it's also important to have a decent lifestyle. What do you do after class, you know? Because when we finish our class, we also want to relax a little bit. And so I like to go traveling, for example, or hiking in the Yunnan mountains, or traveling just through to many different kinds of Chinese city. I went to the Yunnan Zhongyi Xue Yuan, the Yunnan TCM College. At that time it was in Kunming, and I had the first year of my bachelor class over there. That's what you also study over here now. I was together with 50 or 60 Chinese students and there were four to five other foreigners in the whole university, but not more. Only maybe five foreigners in the whole university. From Germany and from Canada and from Greece and from Sweden. And we all studied Chinese medicine over there, purely in Chinese. So it was very difficult to understand. Because they speak Kunming Hua, you know, Kunming dialect, and then Min Zhu Hua, Dai Zhu Hua, and Hao Jie Ge Hua. Wow, you know, so hard. So hard. And not understanding anything. And after one year, I decided to go back to Hangzhou and to study my, uh, my bachelor degree, to go on with my bachelor degree over here. Because we had foreign classes. Liu Xiu Shen, Jiao Shi, Liu Xiu Shen, Ke Shi. And we were maybe, maybe 10 foreigners from many different countries, from, from the US, do you know? US is United States, and from Switzerland, and from, from Hong Kong, from Korea, from many different other countries. 
And, um, and then I was doing my bachelor degree over here for five years and I graduated and then my Chinese was quite okay. So I took the Yi Shi Zi Du culture in Chinese, you know, it's 900 Chinese students. So I took this national medical license test, national medical license test. It's a license, it's a zhi zhao. It was very, very hard. And I only had to study at the hospital, at the provincial hospital of TCM, Shen Zhong Yuan. So I learned over there again, reading through all the Chinese medical terminology and studying, and it was very tiring to learn more about Chinese language. And after one year at the hospital, I also did my master over here, Shuo Shi Xu Xi. So my tutor was Cao Lingyong. I don't know if you know him. He's a doctor, Dr. Cao Lingyong. He teaches Shang Hanlun and Jing Kui Yao Lue, and they do this Jing Fang. Jing Fang, maybe you heard about it. There are many doctors who do this now. Dr. Huang Huang, maybe, or uh, many different kind of doctors. They talk about Shang Hanlun because it's getting, again, very popular because it's very old very classical, it's the classical Chinese medicine. And I was also practicing in, and assisting in different kind of pharmacies in the Zhongde Tang we learned over there, or the Hu Chuni Tang. And then after some time I created a network and the name is Wushan TCM, Wushan Zhongyi. So I was trying to connect the East with the West and to bring foreign students over here, and to help them to arrange their studies, for example. I was also arranging hospital treatments, you know, issue Liu. So I was bringing foreign patients to here and I was organizing in the Hu Chunitang treatments for them. I was translating for them. I was um, arranging all of these things, what you need to consult a doctor, Zi Xun Li Ge Gua Hao, you know, I was explaining all of these things. And now I'm also doing my own courses. Um, my, I do a lot of online courses about Chinese medicine. So I'm teaching foreigners about Chinese medicine. And the medicine is the medicine what I also learned over here in Hangzhou. So I got the Chinese language and can translate a lot of lectures. So you see, this is a foreign language. I had to learn first. I didn't know anything about it, like you, maybe in English, but I think you are much better in English. And now you have a foreign teacher, like me, for example, who gives you some kind of opinions and opportunities about how we can learn Chinese medicine in English. And maybe making it a little bit more interesting for you. And maybe also giving you some kind of idea you can maybe one day you go abroad and you know how to communicate you know how to talk because you are a doctor maybe you even work abroad you work in a foreign country i met a lot of chinese in germany and they also come from hangzhou for example and they work in our country they learn german and they're working with acupuncture and toina simply because they first learned the language, right? So it's always starting with English first, which is for you. You already had so many years of English. And then I was asking around if you are interested in, and it's like, yeah, mm, so, so. So I think it's also about the method on how you learn. Does it make you interested in or not? Do you have some kind of motivation? Why to learn? Why to study? Why should I read all of these things? So today I also brought a book for you, you know. Do you know this? It's a book about a dialogue. It's called Talking to Patients. Because this is what will happen to you. If you go to the clinic and if you work over there, you will also have some foreigners, right? Who will come in the inside and who want to get a treatment. And so this class is mainly about oral conversations, you know, it's 
to learn Chinese medical terminology in English. And it's so important for me, what I also taught before, that, that you know on how to apply on how you can apply. I don't want that you only memorize words over here. It's quite useless because you need to apply the language. You need to use it inside of Chinese medicine. So I was creating different kinds of methods over here to interact with you, to communicate with you about English language or using English language and to talk about Chinese medicine and to see what kind of things you already know. Because you are studying now, you are in the third year of the bachelor program, right? Of the bachelor degree. Banke is bachelor. Uh, is or Yan Shan is the master, right? The master student. Shuoshi, not in Biela, right? He's called Shuoshi in Chinese when he already graduated. I didn't know all of this before. I was also learning it, you know. So I hope to give you some kind of advice, maybe. Hope to catch more of your interest and motivation to go on because it's your future and maybe one day you will visit me in Germany. You're welcome. You can come to Hamburg. We go around. It's a beautiful city. We're gonna see the town and maybe you also find some opportunity maybe to talk to some doctors over there and then you will know you need English. You need English everywhere. That's nothing new to you. You already heard this a lot. And for me, it's always very important on how do you learn English. I think it's the method on how you learn English. So this is the class today about. Okay.